Good afternoon, we for she, and a very warm welcome to Vancouver. My name is Jessica Meir, and I'm a scientist and a NASA astronaut. And I actually lived in Vancouver for three years, so I really wish that I were there with you in that glorious city. But instead, here I am with a, a message for you all. So for me, I was incredibly fortunate to have a lot of very influential mentors throughout my life. And I really encourage all of you to make sure that you are seeking out good and valuable and strong mentors. And for the mentors in the room, make sure that you serve as a good and strong and valuable mentor for people. It really can make all the difference. I was incredibly fortunate to have incredible science teachers from the time that I was a young kid, and those were my favorite topics, my favorite classes, and I remember their influence on me as a child growing up. And I think that's one of the reasons why I wanted to study biology. I was really fascinated by the world around me, by animals, and by the amazing behaviors that animals exhibit. And so that's what I pursued in parallel with becoming an astronaut. So my advice for the next generation is really threefold. First of all, I think it's really absolutely essential to make sure that you identify your passion. Find the one thing that really drives you, that really excites you, and only then will you be able to be exceptional at that thing. If you're not passionate about it, if you don't love that goal that you're setting out for, then I really don't think that you'll accomplish it in the way that you want. And I also don't think that even more importantly, you'll be happy doing it. Secondly, you need to work really hard at reaching for those goals and fulfilling that passion and making them come true. It does take a lot of hard work and it also takes a lot of luck as well. I think everybody in my class, with my seven classmates and myself, realize there are a lot of really amazing accomplished people that wanted to be astronauts as well, that interviewed, and unfortunately there were a very limited number, so we realize the role that luck plays as well. But without the hard work, you can't just rely on the luck alone. And the third, the third thing I think is to make sure that you are not afraid to fail. You have to be able to take a risk, be willing to take that risk, and know that you probably will fail at some point along the way. It happened to me. I definitely failed many times throughout my life in getting to where I am today. Probably the most notable time was that I actually applied to be an astronaut several times before. In the most recent class, the 2009 class, I actually made it to the final round and I was one of the final contenders. Everyone said I did really well in the interview, but in the end, it was a limited number of spots and I just didn't get it. But if I hadn't tried again, if I had given up and not applied for the next time, for the next class, then I wouldn't be where I am now. Thank you very much for listening to my message today. I hope you have an amazing time in Vancouver. I know that city is full of amazing things. Uh, when I was there for my postdoc at the University of British Columbia, I found a wealth of things to do both in the nature around and in the wonderful city as well. So thank you. I hope you have a wonderful conference.